In the modern world, there are a lot of different internet browsers which compete and thus become better to not fall their behind competitors. Except, there is not. You can call me like her, and I want to tell you why there is actually only three different browsers out there, what the difference between browsers I personally like, what the situation with ad blockers and why you should even care. Please sit down, don't drink your teeny PC, and let us begin our talk. Let's quickly address Mastodon in the room. All of so-called modern browsers are based on three different projects you quite possibly know of already. Chrome Mim, Firefox, and at last and by extension the least Safari. Chromium is what Chrome based on, but despite popular opinion, it can be used as full featured browser, basically as open source Chrome without sensing with Google account. Also, all of popular browsers and even so-called web app solutions are based on Chromium, so most of websites are only tested on Chrome itself. Safari. This will be quick one, no one wants to use it. Despite that, it's the only thing available on iOS devices, and all of other browsers and apps still must use Safari rendering engine. Firefox is not really popular, but it's the only thing that can load most of web things perfectly without being Chromium based. Most of privacy-oriented browsers are based on it, including pretty famous Tor browser, DuckDuckGo browser and not really famous the Brawl browser. As you can see, Chromium and Firefox are both open source projects, but they are still made with really different philosophies behind them. So in the end, what I would recommend to you? Short answer, Firefox. The long answer is I recommend using Firefox if you don't care about privacy. The Brawl for Mull if you care. Tor Browser if you use Tor. And Chromium and Bromite if you really need Chromium based browser. So, what's the deal with ad blockers? Well, in short, it seems that Google wants to get rid of them. There is new format for Chromium based browser add-ins called Manifest V3 that should replace current Manifest V2. I would not get into detail about all of problems, but main issue is that all add-ins must provide a list of all else to a page they want to block, and that this is limited pretty strictly, about 30,000 rules maximum, and extensions acting as things like ad blockers have lists a lot more than that, something about 300,000 even under full settings, plus new format will limit rule configuration. Deleting support for Manifest from stable Chrome was postponed until 2024, but when it's a matter of time, you could guess why people are mad. All Chromium-based browsers will be affected, but not Firefox-based, because Firefox commented that they would support the counterpart of Manifest v2, at least a year after Manifest v3 support will become stable, and their Manifest v3 implementation would still contain some features required by blockers despite Chrome removing and replacing them with limited counterparts. Personally, I would recommend using a block origin with Firefox which does not limit its features like Chrome did even before Manifest v3. Why a block exactly? Because it's open source and lightweight while providing extensibility through lists, tools to hide website content on the go and advanced features for controlling your connections to servers, as well as disabling external fonts and JavaScript. Even if you think you are okay with the nightmare webbies, ad blockers like this can also defend your privacy to some extent by not letting websites run tracking scripts high denying pop-ups that try to get you login somewhere, and even help avoid malware by blocking access to websites known for hosting it. That concludes our small talk about modern web browsers. Please, let me know if you think that I made some mistakes, and I hope to see you again later.